All right, it is time to take the SIM card out of my iPhone, which is a tester SIM, and put it into the Doogee V30 and see if it works. Start testing this bad boy on data. Here we go. Give me one second. I'll be right back and we'll see if data, talk, text, MMS all work on here. Come back with that clip in a second. Okay. And now we're back. And you can see here, let me show you. I took the tester SIM out of the iPhone. So you can see now it says no SIM card available because the SIM is now out of the iPhone and there's no data running on it. Let me show you again. Boom, right there. And we put that same tester SIM into the Doogee V30. So you can see LTE is running and it's on free up mobile LTE right there. Okay, y'all can see that right there. Let me see, make sure it's nice and clear. Free up mobile, LTE, you got the 4G LTE and you can see data is working. So let me just show you here. So I don't have Wi-Fi turned on, let me show you. So Wi-Fi is off, LTE is running, right? Okay, so let's do a few things. Let's go to YouTube. You see YouTube loads up. Let's refresh YouTube. And you see YouTube refreshes, no problem, right? And I also did a phone call. Phone calls work, no problem, okay? I don't want my number to come up in the video, so I'm not gonna show y'all that. And I also did a text message and an MMS message, works no problem. Now, one thing I wanna make sure that y'all remember here, and let me see if I can show it without showing any sensitive information. This is a triple SIM device, right? So you have the ability to do two nano SIMs or uh, nano SIMs and an eSIM. Now, inside of the package with your Doogee V30, they do give you instructions on how to activate the eSIM. Right, you have to go through the eSIM activation to get your eSIM working. They give you instructions in the box on how to do that. Now, for your physical SIMs, you gotta go into SIM card management here, and you see it says two, all right? You wanna make sure, okay, that it's turned on. Whatever SIM card slot you put in, you make sure it's turned on. Now you have to put your SIMs in the SIM card tray a certain way for it to register as a SIM, all right? Then you wanna make sure you go ahead and turn on LTE data, okay? Then let me make sure there's no sensitive information on this next page, all right? Then you wanna make sure you come into settings and you turn on LTE data, right? After that, let me make sure there's no sensitive information here. You wanna make sure you come in and you turn on the preferred networks. Now, as I showed y'all in the unboxing, this is a 5G device. So if your carrier supports 5G, you select 5G, okay? If not, you select 4G LTE. Now, I want this device to run off of 4G LTE, so that's what I have selected, right? Okay, so you tap that and it's done. You can also turn on Wi-Fi calling. You see it right there, Wi-Fi calling. Then you also can turn on video calling with your carrier if your carrier supports that, right? Then you wanna go in here and you want to make your APNs. You can see I made my APN for free up mobile, which runs on AT&T's network, right? You make it. You fill it out with all the information and then you save it, okay? After you save it, you wanna come out and you wanna select it. You wanna wait a couple minutes. If it doesn't automatically register, you wanna restart your device and it should automatically register after you restart. 
Now on Samsung devices, it restarts automatically and it registers automatically, but if it doesn't pick it up, you will have to do these same steps here that I just mentioned, right? And then also, when you're making phone calls, when you're sending text messages with your Doogee V30 here, you wanna make sure you select the SIM card that said uh, information is going through, right? So it will ask you, let me see if I can show you without revealing any sensitive information here. So you can see, yeah, you can see here, let me see, let me not put my number up there. You can see I sent myself a picture here and it's still sending, but I had to select the SIM card that I'm using, all right? And you can see I have uh, AT&T with this SIM card one selected, all right? So you wanna make sure you do that. I'm actually sending another picture now and it's taking a minute to send here. But you wanna make sure you do that. Let me get out of that. Don't want my number to show up in there. But that is how you can configure your Doogee V30 to make sure the data is working, okay? And data is indeed working and LTE is indeed working. I just showed y'all and I'm actually getting a phone call right now, so I'm gonna have to gray that out. Well, that does it for the video, y'all. Have a good one.